no-brainer, you know. Mm -hmm. um, he just does a great job, and, you know, just to be able to uh, go in and get the services. And, you know, some people have this perception that his office is just for kids. But um, I see more grown folks up in there than, than I do kids. So. We go there, my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it, it's so cool and to have this, Kim. It's, it's just amazing. So thank you for, you know, letting us both come on your show and uh, really try and get the word out to people that this, this is going to happen this week. Well, Commissioner Weekly, we just want to thank you because uh, I know, I mean, since I've known you, you've always been involved with the community, and you now you've taken it to a whole nother level. You connect what we need in the community to the services that are here for us. So uh, bringing Dr. Timothy Wilson right there to the Pearson Center and uh, now with the, your new office, Dr. Wilson, it's just fabulous because so many children and whole families, like you said, need those services. So we want to thank you for that, uh, Commissioner Weekly. Well, Kim, thank you. But, again, you know, with that service from Dr. Wilson, you know, it's, it's nothing like a kid going to school trying to learn um, or uh, even somebody that's uninsured. And with this big debate that's going on with the Affordable Health Care Act and all of that, I mean, who, who can go out and learn? I mean, just think, Kim, you have two boys. you got one, you know, still in school and one in college uh, mm -hmm. right now. Talk about an extreme, huh? Yeah. Uh, you got homework <laughs> going on in your house all night. Oh, my God. But, uh, at any rate, you know, just imagine you sending your two boys off to school, mm -hmm. uh, one in regular school and one in college with a toothache. Mm, how, I don't. how can he learn? I right? know. You know, and then you're trying to go to work. You know, your husband's out working, and, and he has a he has a toothache, but yet he's not making enough money to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. You know, to even be able to afford to go to the to the dentist. And they say a toothache is almost worse than a, a snake bite. That those are two of the worst painful. That and I hear labor. You mm -hmm. know, those are the three top painful things that you can go through in life. And mm -hmm. so. You know, to be able to know that we can do something about a toothache, you know, that that's that's a blessing. And so, you know, Dr. Wilson and his service um, is, is just so much needed, and we're, we're blessed to have him, Kim. I know we are. So thank you again. Thanks uh, again, Mark. Yeah, thanks, the thanks. event thanks. is the Dental Health Awareness Day. It's going to be at the Pearson Center, and that is July 26, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, and the William Pearson Center is located at 1625 West Cary, North Las Vegas. Again, there, for more information, now get your pen. It's 639-3515. 639-3515. Is that directly to that, your office? That's, that's to my office. Oh, good. Yeah, so, you know, basically what I want to do is we're... I want to let people know exactly what we're doing. We're, mm -hmm. we're doing exams. I'm going to have a few doctors there. We'll probably have three or four doctors. We're just doing exams. We're doing oral exams. We'll check for uh, cavities. We're, we're checking for gum disease. Uh, we're doing a, a braces check. Uh, my, my office, uh, we offer everything. We're doing uh, dentures, uh, denture checks, partials, everything. Anything that you can imagine uh, pertaining to dentistry, that's what we plan on doing. This is going to be a uh, fantastic uh, event. Uh, it's for the community. Everything is free. Uh, we're going to have, um, it's, it's all sponsored by me. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to have, uh, you know, some, some light food, drinks. We're going to have games for the kids. Um, it's just really, right now, it's really about awareness. Um, my, my, my training, my specialty training is in, in kids and children. Mm -hmm. And I did a pediatric residency for uh, three years over at Children's Hospital of Michigan. So that's kind of my passion. Um, right now, my emphasis, of course, is on everyone, but my, my real passion uh, really, you know, pertains to the kids. So that's something that, uh, you know, parents, uh, you know, I just want to urge you, check your kids' teeth. It's very, very important. Um, we have a, a problem right now going on here in Las Vegas and around the world with uh, baby bottle uh, tooth decay, baby yeah. bottle syndrome, early childhood caries, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. It all stems from uh, parents putting the kids to sleep with a bottle mm -hmm. overnight, whether it be milk, juice, whatever whatever the uh, substrate is. The bottom line is that anytime you put a kid to sleep with a bottle, whether it's milk or juice, that uh, the bacteria in our mouth can feed off of that. It stays in the mouth all night. And, uh, of course, the bacteria emits an acid. The acid breaks down the teeth, and then all of a sudden now the kids' teeth are bad. Wow. You know, and, and I'd almost rather have... I'm in surgery right now two, two days a week where we have to put kids under general anesthesia. Mm. Um, the two-year-olds, the three-year-olds, the four-year-olds. I even have one-year-old patients that we have to put under general anesthesia to uh, fix their teeth. You know, it's something that uh, is, is safe, but, you know, why have your kid go through that if it's something that can be prevented? It's all prevention. It's really right. just brushing twice a day, watching what they eat, making sure they drink a lot of water, 
Floss. And flossing, yeah. all that good stuff. No, it's just no bottle to bed. Yes. I mean, it's just all stuff that can be prevented. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's kind of my main thing right now. I just want to make sure that uh, uh, the community has access to dental care. You know, we have a, uh, I, I just set up a, uh, <clears throat> a nonprofit. So we're trying to raise money so people that don't have insurance can get um, free dental work actually that's um, big which is big which yeah. is huge that's that's, that's something huge. I really because so many people in this especially in las vegas are not working right so when right. you're not working sometimes your insurance goes right along with that that's you know it. so you don't have that insurance mm -hmm. and then even if and dr wilson that's what i love about your office too uh because as entrepreneurs you know mm -hmm. sometimes we go in and out of insurance because right. we just can't afford it because we have to pay other fees as right. it relates to our business mm -hmm. so i love that we can be a cash only uh a client Absolutely. coming into your office 